everyone, long time no see. Sorry, I've been ill and have had so much postgrad uni work to do, so that's the end of the excuses. I just haven't had time to film and edit, so I really apologise. But I'm back today, I'm going to do a February favourites, and I know already we're like on the 4th or 5th of March, but I just thought that I'd give you a rundown of the products that I really liked in February. So to start off with, I'm going to show you the, um, this is the, the Walida, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it by the way, Pomegranate Regenerating Body Oil, and I got this in a glossy box, I can't remember which one, and I just fell in love with it. I was all, I've always had dry skin and I suffer with eczema and things like that but I wasn't sure if it would really benefit me in any way, a body oil, but it's really really helped with my skin over the winter months and it, it's just, my skin is in much better condition. When I exfoliate and then I use this after a shower, it locks in the moisture and it really makes a difference to my skin, so I've really been enjoying using this. Moving on to makeup now, I've been really loving the Clinique High Impact Mascara and it, the wand is like this. It's quite a big wand and I'm not normally a fan of the bigger wands because I find that it's difficult to apply it to the lower lashes and stuff like that but I persevere with this because I really like the results that it gives. I haven't got any mascara on today because I've just quit really quickly sort of put on some concealer and some lipstick just to film this video so that I wasn't completely absent for another month but I've been really loving this when I have applied it. I've done a blog post on it, so I'll link that below so you can actually see what it looks like on the lashes. I've done a proper review of it, but I've been really loving that this month. As you're probably all aware by now, I'm quite pale, and I don't mind being pale. I don't use fake tan or anything like that. I certainly don't go out in the sun and tan via UV rays. Um, I'm really funny about protecting my skin. I use Fact 50 every single day, so that's one of my monthly favourites, I suppose, using Fact 50. But I do like sometimes having a little sort of colour on the cheeks just to warm my complexion up a little bit because some days my complexion, if my skin looks dull, it can look a bit sallow, so I quite like to use sort of like a shimmery bronze. I do use matte ones as well, but I'm going to show you one in a minute. But this is a Body Shop one. This is Bronze Shade Warm Glow 02 and I got this last summer but they do things that are similar I believe still and it's this pretty pinky brown shade I just love it, it's so pretty and I hope the camera picks up how pretty that looks and again I've used this in a blog post this month so proof that I've been using it so I'll link that below as well this is my favourite lipstick of February this is the Bourjois Sweet Kiss number no. 51 lipstick looks like this, you might have seen this in my lipstick collection video if you haven't seen that, I'll link that below as well uh, but I've got it on today and I've just put it on as a stain so I sort of put it on the lips and then rubbed it in with my fingers and I just really like the way that this looks and it just sort of freshens my complexion it gives me more English rose type of complexion so I really love it I've also been loving this Benefit Creases Cream Eyeshadow in Flying Down to Betty it's a lovely shimmery pink shade I've been really liking this. It still does crease on my eyelids, but not quite as much as some other eyeshadows. I've got really oily lids though, so that's just me. But I just really like this shade. It just looks really pretty and girly on the eyes. And I've been loving sort of pastel, pretty looks because spring's on its way. It's a gorgeous day here today. And I just really want to channel that in the makeup. I've also been loving this soft candy this is a blush cream by Max Factor. Mine is beaten because I've had this for about a year and I drop it all the time. It's Miracle Blush, M Miracle Touch Cream Blush from Max Factor. And this is in Soft Candy and it's really pretty. I've got that on my cheeks today. And I've also been having this Lakira Beauty. This is a concealer pen. You can get this in either Aldi or Lidl. I can't remember which one. And it comes like this. And it's quite similar to uh, Touche Club from YSL but obviously it's not exactly the same product, but it does a similar thing and it sort of brightens the under eye area and I really love that. Another product I've been loving, it's not quite makeup, but sort of is, it's a makeup lock and seal from ELF. I use this to seal glitter in place if I'm putting loose glitter on my eyeshadow, on my eyelids, and also if I want to use um, eyeshadows as a eyeliner, I just dip a little bit, dip, <laughs> I dip the product in this and then just use it as an eyeliner, it's really nice. And I like it to set my eyebrow powder because I use eyebrow powder and sometimes it can slip off if it's quite a humid day or if I'm sweating or anything. So I quite like to put that on 
to lock it in place and it definitely does make a difference because my eyebrows look on as opposed to sometimes they can rub off here on the ends and it definitely stops it from doing that so I absolutely love this stuff. So that's it for my February favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put any links to um, prices and stuff in the description box so you can check that out. And I just really hope you like this video and I will keep doing videos and I'm just really sorry I've been MIA. I've just had so much on I've been unwell and, and I had a big cold sore on my lip and I didn't really want to show up on camera with that. I didn't think anybody needed that. <laughs> so I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye.